obviously we're excited about the start of our season. Grambling brings a new challenge to us with a new coach, legendary coach, Bibbs, um, coming over from North Carolina A&T. So obviously when we're scouting right now for a Grambling, we're scouting North Carolina A&T system, but also Grambling personnel. So there are a few things that are um, a little bit unknown as we head into our first game. But what we do know is that they'll be a very high paced team. They'll be a team that's going to press and trap all over the floor. They're a team that we're going to have to defend the drive and probably be very concerned about on the boards. So as we go into our, our warm up here and with eight new faces, we've spent a lot of time on a lot of things, but our, our playbook and our defensive system is not as complex as it will be as we go forward. But what we have to hope is that we've got enough reps on the most important things that we're going to face um, against Grambling and then our opponents in the WNIT. Well, I, I liken this team to our team in year two, where we had new faces that needed to be impactful and, and ultimately ended up being impactful. And I think we have the same scenario here. Certainly Mariah Rouser is one that we counted on being impactful um, from the moment that we signed her. I would expect that Ariel Hearn also should be and can be and hopefully will be impactful as well. But but certainly behind them also, Asia Fuquay Bay has shown very, very good things. But it's going to be important that those new young faces um, advance very quickly and become solid very quickly and reliable so that we know what we can count on from them um, every minute of every game. I think probably with a young thing, one of the with a young team, one of the things that you really worry about is uh, rebounding, and, and we're concerned about that. It's important that we understand the physicality that will be required on the glass in a college basketball game. Um, I'm concerned about our transition defense because that's something that is not normally stressed real heavily in um, in high school, and also just the ability to face some adversity and stay within our system. Um, if we stay within our system, we know how to play out of those things. If we get discombobulated a bit and get unorganized, then it becomes much more difficult to know how to play with each other on a basketball floor. Well, I think early on, I think Nicole and Kesey both were a little bit overwhelmed with what their role is role and responsibility was to our team. But as we've gone through the early part of this season, I've begun to hear their voices more, both in teaching terms, in disciplinary terms, and just upholding the standards that we have within our program. Now, they're, they're more quiet voices than some of our other voices have been in the past with a Ramses Lonlack or a Brittany Carter. The, their voices are not as loud or as strong or maybe even as confident right now. But as we go through this season and grow through this season, then I think we'll begin to see those players really come to the forefront and understand what their leadership means to this team.